everyone, Steelhorse here. I'm here on Court Farms with a short little video that I hope uh, helps some of you with uh, frustration I've uh, been encountering since uh, playing on this very beautiful new map by Oxygen David. It's um, the situation's not uh, unique to this map. So you can see here, I haven't got particularly big equipment. I just want to get my trailer in so I can harvest this field. Uh, but the gate is in my way. I don't want to drive through the hedge, which I could, although there are trees and things which would also make that complicated. And uh, if we go on to say there's uh, over 140 of these steel gates on this map, and this situation therefore arises in an unusually large number of fields here. Thankfully, the solution, or at least a workaround, is uh, somewhat close at hand. The good news is it doesn't require a Giants Editor. We can do it all with a simple uh, text editor and literally changing three numbers in one file. Uh, and then zipping it back up. The instructions I'm going to give you are for PC. Let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a directory uh, to work in. I've called it Court Farms Gates. And I'm going to take my copy of Court Farms, which I downloaded and for you probably was in your mod folder. I have a copy of it uh, right here. And I'm going to copy it and put it straight in the new mod folder that I've created. So there's my zipped up copy of the map. I'm going to right click and extract it and I'll put it into the same directory for now. Because this is now a copy of uh, the one I've got. I'm not messing with my main game it's quite a big map so it'll take a second or two to extract out of the zip file uh, we've got court farms and this is the directory structure and if we double click on the maps directory we'll find that the map maker oxygen david has very nicely put all of his xml files neatly into one folder and the top of the list is the file that we want it's an xml file called animated objects. You'll need a text editor. I use Notepad++, Notepad++ which is freely available. And I want to click on animated objects and edit it with Notepad++. And in here, we'll find a set of definitions for all of the objects on the map that are animated. This is quite a large file, as you can see. But thankfully, the things that we're looking for are well labelled. And in this particular case, the most common gate on the map is right here at the top. It's the gate 7 bar 14 foot. Uh, there are about 140 of them on the map. And these set of instructions describe how the gate animation works. The particular field that we're interested in here is in line 13 and this tells the gate to open out to 90 degrees. Now my experience is that actually a better opening angle for most gates in most situations is between 110 and 120. So I'm going to choose 120 and that's going to open the gate just that little bit wider. Now the important thing to keep in mind is this changing this to minus 120 will affect all of the gates of that use this animation on the map, all 140 of them. So it can create a situation, we haven't been around to check them all, where the gate will open into an object and create some little odd glitches. If they're in a part of the map that you're playing that you don't like, then you need to wind this setting back. But for now, we'll go with minus 120. Now, while I'm here, 
The other gates that I've observed that create a problem on the map are in a couple of instances there are wooden gates placed at an angle that don't open wide enough to get across a, a bridge or a road and thankfully all the wooden gates and there's about 60 or so of those have the same animation and so we're going to do the same thing and open those to 120 degrees now these also happen to be the gates in for the most part into animal pastures so um, again if for most of the pastures this will work fine in a couple of them where the gates hard up a shed it might cause the gate to disappear as it opens into the shed so that's those two the last one I want to look at, um, because they're a bit more complicated, uh, you could do the same for double gates. You can see in double gates, there's a leaf that opens to 90 degrees and a leaf that opens to minus 90 degrees. In this particular case, I don't want to change for the moment any of the double gates except for the ones that are on the shop. And to find those, we can search because they're very conveniently named shop gate or at least the animation for it is so here is the shop gate and it's a little more complicated because it's a double gate and it can be a little bit confusing to remember which of the two nodes is going in which direction uh, but if you're looking from above um, the positive direction is anti-clockwise. The negative direction is clockwise. And so in this particular case, we only want this node because of the situation at the shop to uh, open a fraction further. But this one, just to give us a choice in the situations where this is on the map uh, to open a little bit further. So we'll make that 95 and 130 we'll save that and that's it it really is that simple so now practice i like to follow is to zip this back up again uh, so i'm going to send it back to a zipped file it's going to create it right here in the directory i'm in which is convenient and i need to give it exactly the same name as the map wherever it is in your mod, mod folders we need to name this and so this is going to be exactly the same name as it had before port farms with a lowercase f and i'm going to put this now because this is the, my new version it'll have a different date and time stamp and I'm going to copy this and put this in the mod directory where I start the game. And here we are back in the same situation and you can see that the gate is now open to an angle that allows me to drive straight through. So in this situation that worked really nicely we can just move the tractor out of the way let's come back we haven't broken anything as you can see it immediately adjusted the fact that the gate was open it'll open again out to that angle and more importantly if we run back down the road here as i said now all the metal gates are going to open to 130 or 120 degrees because that's what we chose just making it that little bit easier and i know we'll have a problem down here so you can see here So in this situation here, this gate opens towards us, which before was an issue because it stopped right here. It now opens nicely back out of the way. So much easier if you ever want to use this plot here 
this one here wasn't a problem and as you can see opening wider does create a small issue um, so it will fold back through the fence um, again if that annoys you you can reduce the opening I think the benefit of the wider opening gates in most situations far outweighs the situations um, where you get a little bit of clipping with other objects and we can turn this into this if we jump back to the shop we'll now find we haven't made any change to the animation on that gate but we'll now find our shop gates just open that little bit wider gets it out of the way not likely to clip it with the trailer and it puts it back to the edge of the path so that's why I chose that for these gates and if we come over here also it doesn't open this gate back as wide as I would like uh, but it does give us a much better angle of attack in from this side I trust that's been straightforward and useful until next time thanks for watching see ya